A burning offshore oil well is dumping 30,000 barrels of crude each day into the Gulf. Spilling since June 3rd, the worst spill in history. 79, we had this, what is now the second largest oil spill ever to occur uh, in American waters, which was Ekstok. As that well uh, started to burn and release oil and the, and the plume started coming toward the Texas coast and there wasn't anything going on to stop it, we didn't have the big response that we had in 2010. It just wasn't there. But Cedar Bio, uh, we could certainly take the action and try to protect all that valuable water and wetlands behind it. And that's exactly what happened. We bulldozed it closed. When you don't have an inlet such as Cedar Bayou open, those habitats are generally inaccessible. Fish such as redfish or flounder, they need access to their nursery habitats. There's things like crab and shrimp which needs access as well. So they're available for animals like whooping cranes to feed upon and just generally contribute to the health of the ecosystem. That bio is the lifeblood to that end of the bay. When that bio is up and flowing, I know how good it is. The Aransas Refuge is the, the winter home of the whooping crane and it's the only wintering place for the, the one natural wild flock uh, of whooping cranes that, that are left in North America. When I'm looking at whooping cranes uh, wintering, I'm keying in on blue crabs, their main food source. So we're seeing higher whooping crane mortality during the winter because of that decline in the blue crab. It's the same way with the duck hunting, and this is kind of the duck hunting capital of Texas right here. Now you go back in the back bays and it's just big salt flats because we're not getting any exchange of water. CCA approached Aransas County to create a unique public-private partnership in order to use the abilities of CCA in the fundraising and advocacy area with the governmental power of Aransas County to see if we couldn't get the pass reopened. Within 30 days, I had 30 different departments in my courtroom. To get all 30 groups, we're talking about governmental entities, into one room was not an easy job, but we did it. I think Judge Mills has done an incredible job to bring it to the surface. I know that Babies on the Bay, last year we put aside $10,000 to put in the, in the sock for when it got organized, and we will do the same this year. Um, and I just hope there are people out there that, that can come down here, enjoy the environment, our resources, and get an understanding of what an impact it would happen if we open that bayou. We all think the opening of Vincent Slough is going to be good for the hydrology of the system. Anytime we can uh, keep a, a pass open on the Texas coast, that basically improves our uh, ability to produce fish and wildlife that are so important to the state. The economic boost from Cedar Bayou is just going to be overwhelming. When and Cedar Bayou is open, the, the fishermen, the birders, and everyone will, will be showing up.